Do you, do you people mind? Do you people mind? I have official ranger business to get on with. Uh, please, well, oh, I should have gone in that gap. This is, this is worse than when we were in Chicago last weekend and there was so much traffic. Oh my gosh. All right, beep, 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 beep. All right, let me through, let me through. Oh, I think I can make it, huh? All right. Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution where we are on a mission to take a photo of our new Dracorex group with our new Ankylosaurus here in the side where we are keeping all of our chompers of bushes, all of our herbivores. Alright, I could resupply that feeder but that's not what we're going for. I'm apparently- Oh, is that Dracorex swimming? Yes! Let me in on that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna take a photo of that because that is too cool. Hopefully we have, what do you mean no dinosaurs found? <gasps> oh, that's so frustrating. All right, hurry, 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 hurry. I wanna get like a really cool picture. All right, take a photo, take a photo, take a photo. Come on, come on, I need both of you guys in this. Both of you in the shot, please. Yes, yes. All right, we got multiple dinosaurs. We don't have diverse behavior reaction though, but dang, look at that. I will take $8,000 on this completely broke island, especially when it gives us that paparazzi boost. Those pictures you took did the job. Well done. Thank you. I kind of want to do that again. Whoa, look at that. Look at the, oh, did you see? Did you see? Oh my gosh, okay, hang on. Uh, oh, whoa, 12,000, excuse you. <gasps> we have the large power substation now. Yes, that is gonna make life so much easier. And oh my goodness. Brooklyn, are you doing good? Are you doing good? Do you not like your picture taken, Brooklyn? Oh, but you're so beautiful. Look at those chompers. Are you losing any teeth, by the way? I can put them inside of the fossil zone. Oh, she's so beautiful, you guys. Jeez, and taking pictures of her gives you so much money. That is kind of amazing. I had no idea that- Look at Brooklyn! Oh my gosh! Wow! And Egbert is just like jumping on top. Brooklyn, do you not like the- You guys can like go back now. Yeah. Oh, Brooklyn! Oh my gosh! <gasps> what? Brooklyn! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't think our insurance covers that. Look at them, they're like, run for it! No, don't hit the Draco Rex! <laughs> we should not be running over our dinosaurs! Somebody needs to revoke your license! Oh my gosh, that was a little bit much. But we do have the large sub- Oh, that's a substation, not a new power station. Well, that'll be really helpful because I was putting down all of these teensy tiny substations, but now I could like get rid of four of them and have a big enough one to cover the entire area. So I kind of got it mixed up with the power stations because I think the power stations, yeah, po small power stations, but we should be able to have uh, some bigger power stations in the future. Oh, and speaking of which, we also want to work on building, connecting, and powering a research center. And today I'm also hoping we can move away from um, the wonderful hall of bushes, our chompers of bushes, and add in a brand new dinosaur that I have actually never tried having before and see if Kaya or Kriya will put up with having a few roommates. So we're actually going to give her some roommates in just a minute here. And they are going to be, should everything go well, the uh, Dianai, uh, Dianon Nikus. And I apologize, I struggle a lot with pronouncing these things and I'm not very good with it, so patience please. But I would really like to see what these guys turn out to be and maybe in their normal form at first. But they're, ooh, oh, but I just cannot turn away from how their rating would go so much higher. And can I make them healthier? Their resilience will definitely go up. If you do immune response to their resilience definitely goes up and their lifespan goes up. They do not live very long. Oh my gosh. Um, but that really makes their viability go down. And if we do their defense, that also helps their rating go up. 
and we'll do aggressive instincts one because it seems to give them the best boost and the best rating boost with only a little bit of a decrease in viability but it doesn't look like i can modify them very much right now in order to yeah that takes us way down into the 40s i'm gonna need to wait till i have more of their dna before i can do that but i would love oh we're over a million oh should i do it should i do it i would really love to see what this has to offer I think we're gonna go ahead and try to incubate one. And I think I wanna try incubating two before we release it, because this really looks like a dinosaur species that's going to want companionship. And speaking of companionship, I do think I need to take care of my guest a little bit better in order to get our ratings up on this island. <laughs> because apparently our food and drink rating is completely in the gutter. There's no shelter protection. Um, there's no hotels. So let's see if we can try to make people a little bit happier with this so that hopefully they will go along their merry way and give me tons of money. Uh, we still have this big area that I have. The, we have the dino dentistry where they can collect some of the teeth that our dinosaurs have dispersed, but they don't really have anywhere to eat. Should they go ahead? Restaurant, food and drink right over here. We could say it's like a, it, over here will be the restaurant that's dedicated to like tofu burgers and salads because it's next to next to our little bush eaters right over here. The chompers of the bushes will be over here. And then on the other side, we could have steaks. If this goes well, we'll put in like another restaurant over here and have like steaks and, and things like that. Maybe dino steak for all I know. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. Maybe I can put in another clothing shop so we can start making a bit of money. So let's try putting that like perfectly right there. Oh, it's just a little bit misaligned. Oh, that sucks. But I did my best. All right, we probably want to make sure that we're doing some fossil digging still too. So we already have a couple of the dinosaurs that I was really going for. Uh, no path. What do you mean? Oh. Like it's going to kill somebody to walk across two inches of grass. There you go, everybody. Now your path is connected to the restaurant. I would like to dub this. Um, we're going to call this. Uh, let's call it the the leaves. Mm -hmm. Leafy, leafy heights. I think we already have a name like that for Emily's restaurant on the second island, to be completely honest. So maybe we should call this Bee Leaf. There we go. Bee Leaf, the restaurant. And we only sell the finest in tofu steaks here. All right, let's see. Or let's go with like bean burgers because I really hate tofu steaks. I, I, don't, I don't like tofu very much. I'm not a big fan. But if it's properly prepared, it's delicious. Look at that. And now I'm making $6,000. I'll take that. Thank you very much. At the Bee Leaf, extremely fancy dining right over here. I mean, it's literally dining with dinosaurs. What more could you ask for? Maybe I should put in mm, the guest viewing platform like over here. <gasps> Ooh, maybe because then they would have a great view of two of the exhibits. And it would be right next, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because it would also be right next to the Belief little restaurant. And then right down here, we'll have our clothing shop. And what should we call? We'll, we'll be like team leaves. So you have team leaves and team goats and team, team meat, I guess. <laughs> and I'm gonna sell a onesie because you have to go and support the team that you're on, right? All right. Is this going to go into 7,000? No, I don't think it will. But there we go. $59 for your onesie so that you can be on Team Leaf. And on the other side of the island, we'll put like a Team Goat uh, when we get enough money. And we'll put down something that'll be like Team team Fangs, maybe. Acquire at least. Oh, hey, that would be a good goal, I think, if I've even seen that one. I don't even think I've seen that one. Yeah, the thing is, I don't even think I've seen the Metria Canthiosaurus genome. So we're going to have to try again with him. Because I've been trying to actually work on getting some contracts with George. Can you dig it? You Yes, thank you. But he has not been giving me expeditions that I could really do. So hopefully this one will be different. 
Oh, we could get some more Kriya. Let's go ahead and we'll get some more Kriya DNA because that sounds like a good idea. Oh, the Tessas. The Tessas were a headache and a half. Uh, Gallimimus, Para, Velociraptor. I think I'll just keep somebody like focused on Hill Creek quite often. And you guys will have to let me know in the comments actually, why is Hill, Hell Creek such a great location for so many fossils? I know that you're probably gasping in horror that I don't know that fact, but I actually don't because as I've mentioned before, my research and my passion usually focuses on extinct species, species who are not extinct, species who uh, are currently existing in the world. And so I don't know a lot about dinosaurs other than what I have started to research on my own or what you guys have told me when I have been completely blown away and enchanted with some of the very general and sometimes very not scientifically based <laughs> ideas that I have learned from playing Jurassic World Evolution. So why is Hell Creek as fancy as it is? I would love to know. All right, Bee Leaf is doing well. Pulling in that money, very nice to see. We've got Team Leaves and Dino Dentistry going well. The viewing platform, so that you can kind of see two of the different groups. And now, we need to wait just a little bit longer. We should have more money in a second here. Looks like Kaya is kind of going through a minute. I'm going to drive the vehicle really fast now that that has been restored. Let's get a picture of Kaya drinking in the rain. Yes. Oh, that looks so cool. Kaya, you are fantastically epic. Has anyone ever told you that? I mean, look at her. Jeez, that's awesome. All right, I won't spam the pictures of her because I think that it really hurts how much they sell for, but man, she is so cool. I really hope she gets along with her new roommates, but if she doesn't, it might trigger a dino battle and that'll make me miserable, but it'll make George so happy. Maybe he and I will finally be able to see eye to eye on something. All right, so the gift shop, I don't really know. Oh, did I? Yeah, they're selling night vision goggles. So I think, um, I guess, Oh, and we just got a fossil, so we just fulfilled a contract. Nice. Let's come over and see what we got. Some fossils, Dracorex DNA, Taurosaurus DNA. Uh, good, and we completed our contract. Oh, we're almost at 100% for the Kriya fossils. I would actually love to do that. And I don't think there's any... No, there's actually quite a few dinosaurs that we haven't unlocked yet. I'm still waiting so that we have enough money to get another one of the dinos before we release them. Just because I'm pretty sure, and they took a very long time to be created in the hatching lab, and I'm pretty sure they're, go they're going to want companionship. But the only ones we're missing now are the Maya and the T-Rex, so I think we're going to try to gather up some of their DNA. And other than that, I need to get onto another island. I need to unlock that next island. We need out of here, guys. We need out of here so that we can hopefully unlock new areas to dig in. Mm, all these expedition places requires research, requires more expedition centers. Look at this. We need another island. I need to get my three stars and just get out of here so that we can go and find more, more dino DNA. I demand it. But there's also some DNA that we could get. Uh, now he really looks like he's holding one of my beloved long necks hostage. <sighs> the third island may finally be where George and I start really trying to get to know each other a little bit better. Even though I very much disagree with so many of the aggressive contracts he wants. Release a Dilophosaurus with aggressive instincts modification. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't really have room for it at the moment. It'd be kind of interesting to see what would happen. Maybe? Like, how many carnivores can you have together? But no, no, uh, I just, I don't have the courage. I do not have the courage to really be as aggressive as you need to be to work with him, I think. All right, we have enough that we can start researching this one. And perhaps today, it's enough of a security risk to take on these two. Uh, I do need to, I really do need to continue advancing. I really, I'm going to have to just 
suck it up and I'm just gonna have to go ahead and start doing George's quest because even though he's super aggressive and I don't agree with him on so many things, it would let us get that that DNA. He's holding long neck DNA hostage. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's what he's doing and I really want it. Well, at least releasing these new dinosaurs should hopefully, once it's done incubating, give us quite the headway on getting people really interested in what we have going on here. All right, let's go ahead and get more Maya. Yeah, I need some Maya from Egg Mountain. Our guests are happy, have lots of shopping to do, and it's keeping them happy. Fantastic. All right. And then if I want to make the guests even happier so we can start spurring up this island rating. Maybe I can get ahead of there without even having to worry about George. We need to get a hotel to get capacity for sure. The drink rating and the food rating is still kind of low and the fun rating is still a little bit low. So what else can I do for them right now? Gift shop. I could do a little fast food. Oh, a toy shop. Yeah, a toy shop on like the boulevard would be fun. We can start replacing these. There we go. Maybe we'll have like, oh, Triceratops, uh, uh, Trikes and Tots. I like the idea. It's Trikes and Tots, but it's like a child toys shop that will be for toddlers. So you can start learning how to pronounce your dinosaurs. Like Siri never did. Like Siri never did. And then is anyone using the viewing platform? Oh, they are. Sweet. That makes me really happy that people are actually using it. All right. We'll have Trikes and Tots. Uh up soon for Triceratops and Tots. And about halfway there on the second Dino, which will hopefully result in some really great things. And I really, really would like to start expanding, maybe adding in more exhibits, but I just don't know who to pick because I really want to try to hurry up and see some new dinosaurs that we really haven't seen before. Egbert, how are you doing? You are just so darn adorable, Egbert. I really like you, even if you only have half a star. You're five stars in my heart. All right, let's come over here. Um, trikes, so trikes and tots. So you can start having your own genius young scientist understand how to pronounce things much earlier on than I ever did. All right, let's see how much money we can start making off of them. Looks like a fair amount. 2,000, kind of hovering around 2,000, eh? So yeah, it looks about 2,300. There we go. If I sold a dinosaur plushie, no, we want to. We definitely want to sell the Arceosaurus. It looks like we still have great capacity for it, and we have some fossils. Are they anything new? Are they possibly the T-Rex? Oh no, but there, there we go. Ah, uh, let's see, Corey. I'll just go ahead and extract the, these. Might as well. It spends a little bit of money, but might as well. There we go, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Get your toys for your kidlets so that they can pronounce Triceratops better than I can. Maybe in multiple languages. There we go. Almost done over here? Almost, guys. And then we will be releasing these new chompers. Uh, and hopefully they'll get along with Priya. And if they don't, or excuse me, with Kaya, and if they don't, we're just going to have to figure out what we're going to do about that. All right, let's extract all of this DNA because we do want a Maya. I think having a little like floodlands with some of the Mayas would be really nice. Are we almost there? Oh, almost, almost, almost. Oh, this makes me kind of nervous. All right. And actually, while we're over here, it's about time, guys. We're starting to get some money. So we're going to go ahead. And somewhere over here. I'm not exactly sure where. Because I need to find just the right spot. And apparently, we're obstructed all over here. There we go. Right over here. We are now going to release Team Goat. There you are, you noble, noble creature. Welcome. Welcome and help us to prepare for the worst if this turns out to be a huge mistake that I definitely should not have done. Whew. All right, guys. Let's release our very first dinos. Are you going to be small? Oh, you're so cute. 
You don't look anything like the other one. Wow, they're actually really beautiful. I like them a lot. Hi, little one. You're very quiet, not super showy. Definitely social, wants more forest, noted. Whoa, boy. Okay, we're gonna need to take care of that really quickly. Let's release the other one, like, immediately. Please tell me that's enough social. Please tell me I just didn't release to beautiful, icy. This one looks a little different to me. Is it just the angle? Or is it actually a little bit more like black? I would love variations between the colorings that they have. But all right. So I have released them. Kriya is, Kaya is doing something. We have both of them. Kaya, Kaya. Uh oh, and I need more. And I need more, like ASAP. Oh my gosh, is this gonna go well? Is this gonna go well? I have no idea, but I need another one. I need another one no matter what. Ooh, and I have just enough money. We're gonna get this going. Ah! Is it about? Is it just fainting? No, they're fighting! They're fighting! I have, I have messed this up. Kaya is irate. She does not want these newbies in her enclosure and we have got to fix this. Oh boy. Wait, now they're panicking. Kaya? Oh, and now Kaya's just roaming. And now I just need to prevent some power outages. That's fine. Okay, actually, now they're not fighting. So, all right, guys. We have quite the adventure happening here in our carnivore section, and we will have to see how the chompers of goats go next time. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.